Hey you guys, Nana Jordan checking in. It's been like four months since I put a video on and I apologize so very much. Been so busy um, with school and everything, but I'm here and I wanted to give y'all a special video on my first semester at Alabama A&M. The first bullet point that I have is turf. Uh, I cannot say it any better. I cannot try to sugarcoat it for the parents. It is turf. Um, we're not even here for a whole week, but we're there for like a couple of days. We're here for a couple of days. And, and they had like an ice cream social. Uh, they had, they, you know, we had a convocation. Um, when they recognize us freshmen, you know, going into a different stage. They had the DJs on the quad and we just out there dancing and so much fun. It's turn. I mean, we're there a couple of days. Classes doesn't start until later on. So turn up, enjoy your first couple of days at an amazing HBCU. Um and, you know, get to know different people. Just go out there and show out or something. You know, don't get too crazy now because class ain't even start yet. So, but go out there and have a blast, though. They offer a lot. So, and that's that. The next bullet point is homecoming. Oh, homecoming for college. Homecoming for high school. Totally different, okay? Different. Um, for high school, you know, you just get one day college you get a whole week worth of fun oh my gosh they had um different they had the talent show which i hosted Woo -hoo. i hosted our talent show as a freshman i was able to represent my small city um which was pretty amazing she's like you're a freshman that doesn't discourage you no put me on that stage i can show you what to do you know so i hosted i had another co-host and it was just so amazing um and they had a fashion show, comedy show, oh, they had a gospel show, um, and they had a concert. And they actually had buses for transportation to take us, you know, to um, downtown where they had the concert. And this year we had Rich Homie Quad and Jockeys, and it was amazing. Just an amazing experience for you and your girlfriends or whoever. Go to homecoming your freshman year. Oh, another thing that I wasn't going to throw in, but I'm going to throw it in now. Um, in the Magic City Classic. Really, really, really big thing in Alabama. Um, but I didn't go. Me and my girlfriends, we didn't go. Well, two of my girlfriends went, and then me and my other friend, we were here. Um, I just wanted to study and relax because I just came off of a lot of tests. And um, now the tickets, they weren't that expensive, but they also did have a fan bus, though. But I don't regret going. Because well, I don't regret not going because it was raining. So who wants to do that? So I think I probably just go next year. But yeah, um, go if you are really down for it. But if it rains, hey, whatever. I didn't go this year though. Yeah, that's the only thing. Okay, parties. I am not a party girl. Um, I will go with the old people and line dance. And call it a day. <laughs> I went to the ballroom, and the ballroom is actually walking distance from campus, so you can go there with your girlfriends or whatnot. And um, they had like a line dance, a little boosie. I went up there, and you gonna learn it. It is so cute. Like I love it, love line dancing. And then I went to another club. It was off campus. I'm not for sure. I don't remember the name of it, but it's just not for me. You know, how you try things out in college, and you realize like that's not for me. That party scene is not for me i would rather host it you know um in a better atmosphere that i would like to set but the party scene is not for me a if you like to party i'm not i am not knocking you you go ahead and do your thing but be careful and have good friends around you that you know will take care of you at the end of the day um next thing is grades Came my grades up 4.0 i studied sunday through thursday so that i could have friday and saturday to just relax or go <laughs> skating or line dancing or go to a party or whatnot. Um, but yeah, study. 
Don't forget why you came down here to study, okay, and get that degree, 4.0. 4.0. Okay. Um, the classes. The class sizes are not that big, um, which I love because it's like I can have that one-on-one -on -one talk with my professor and it's so amazing, you know. And when you go to other schools, they don't realize that you have glasses. Like, that's not me. I like that one-on-one. -on -one. They know me. They know I they know me. So um I can honestly say that I do like the class sizes. And I do not regret coming here. Um, you know, it's a big college. It's HBCU. But the class sizes, they keep it at a good amount where the professor knows your face. They know if, you have, if you're having a bad day or they know if you haven't been in, you know, in a couple of class periods. So, um, the dorms. I actually am my dorm right now. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> I sent thick pen. Um... Thickman is a spot. I'm not gonna lie. Um, make it have is it is the spot. Make it have advantages and disadvantages. Um, but I deal with it, and I thank God for putting me here because I find myself maturing and not getting so mad at small things. It's like, hey, it's college. It's your freshman year. It's the easiest year. But um, you know, as long as you turn it up, but your grades are good, it don't matter. But sometimes you just get really annoyed, like, be quiet, whatever. But, hey, I deal with it. It's cool, though. Um, but I never forget um, our, um, what is it? I don't remember her name. But she works downstairs, and she always has our dorm decorated. So beautiful. Like, the different seasons, Halloween, Christmas, Thanksgiving. Oh, our room, our door dorm will be decorated and we will win like it's so amazing it's just by everybody is over here and they're not just running through the halls like we would just be they'd just be downstairs watching tv or playing card games like it's really the spot so hey you get stuck in thick pen don't be mad do not be mad and just work it and do your own thing okay um other thing that i have was boys bullet point for boys um not used to like the dudes rushing to Go open the door for me. They don't do that up north. <laughs> so, that's pretty cool. Um, but do not forget why you came down here. A lot of people will forget. You know, they'll see, oh, what? And um, not make very wise choices. So, just do not forget why you came down here. And be wise. Make wise decisions. Because, hey, you got to stay prayerful on these streets. Honestly, the next thing is God. Um, I find myself getting so close to him. Um, cause it's like, he's the only person that you can depend on, especially for financial aid. You waiting there, your daddy ain't answering, your auntie, your grandma, your nana, they're not answering. And it's like your friends, they can't help you. They, you know, they chilling with you. So he, honestly, when I say he supply all of my needs, man, hey, try him. Keep them first in your college career. You'll be good. Next thing is scholarships. Um, you keep your grades up. Um, they will roll in. No negative talk. They will roll in. You claim it. Um, speak those scholarships into existence before you even see it. Write it down. Your college tuition is paid for. And you look and you do um, the deed to look for the different scholarships that they do offer. And apply, apply, apply. As my mom will say, apply, apply, apply. So apply, apply yourself to, and um, don't always be acting a fool because um, your professors, they could be holding some money for you. So don't burn those bridges. The last thing is churches. I got connected to The Rock, uh, a memorial, and it's an amazing church. I say, you, you know, you go and try the different churches that fit you. Um, I didn't think I was going to be at this type of church, but... I can honestly say that they are my family, and if I ever need anything, then they will be there. Um, then it's nothing like going to another state and having those, like, another family to just embrace you like you're just there. So, it's an amazing feeling. I love it. But, yeah, get connected to a church um, of your desire and God will bring the right people around. But that is all, you guys. I just wanted to give y'all an update on my college career. 
if y'all have any questions or if y'all want me to be more specific about anything, comment and let me know because I know when I was looking as a freshman, I wanted to know how was your freshman, your first semester like at Alabama and m and there wasn't any videos, so I was kind of bummed. So I just took the opportunity and I'm giving this video to y'all. So if y'all have any questions, comments, or concerns, comment below. I'm Donna Jordan and I'll check it out.